So what's going on Call of Duty athletes? Today we gotta talk about this sucker immediately, okay? Because apparently Slick is going crazy right now because we got new information getting leaked out about Black Ops 6 and guess what? It is about skill-based matching. Yeah! I don't think the homie Blaine Cruz is gonna like this one tonight, okay? So we're gonna get right into it. Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Dislike the video if you want cheaters, you want hackers, you want a bad game, and you want that friendly <laughs> I wanna know, I wanna know where you guys at. With this one, with all this information in mind, shout out to the homie Nero Shenema, roll it. Cup 6 beta, here we are once again on the Father of 4 account. This is footage okay. you guys have probably seen before, but it's very fitting for today's video. Earlier at context, he reverse boosted to test out how bad the skill-based matchmaking was the other day on his Father of 4 account that he just mentioned, and the footage was bad. And some of it, you're seeing it right now. I read a thread, and it was really interesting, where somebody went through and carried out several different kill-death ratio tests on five different Modern Warfare 3 accounts, and then posted his results over to Reddit, and those results were really interesting, coupled in with the fact that I learned a lot more about skill-based matchmaking after having watched Jgod's video, where he reacted to my video back during the beta. Essentially, I made this account right here, Father of Four, with the idea being seeing how the other side lives. I'm not going yeah. into these lobbies trying to get nukes or anything i just wanted yeah. to see how different yeah he's not like k3 korean savage i love the homie shout out to the homie korean savage but you know when in uh skill based management was first put in like crazy you know like hail was first put in in modern warfare 19 korean savage was caught reverse boosting and he ended up getting like a nuke on a disabled chick in a disabled lobby in modern warfare uh 2019 no disrespect to people that are disabled but that was the news around that time i'm not sure if you guys remember that that's like dinosaurs time on the internet right that i just brought up here Call of Duty would be on a brand new account that has no skill based matchmaking history or anything like that. I initially thought, and I was wrong about this, that if you yeah, have a brand well, new account, wrong. that you're put into the lowest bracket of skill based matchmaking. But how Jgod actually described it is when you have a brand new account, they're essentially trying to figure out what kind of a player you are. So what they do is they toss you into the middle of skill based matchmaking to kind of get a feel. <laughs> He, he's like, hey, I'm hurt, Poppy, I'm hurt, don't you, don't you, do man, in my lobbies, bro, you don't even see them, you're like, eh, 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 pow, you're dead, like, that's what happened, what the hell is this one, man, I want these lobbies too, man, no, I don't want these lobbies all the time, but I want these lobbies all the time, man, who are we kidding, man, like, these suck is crazy, man. So go for you as a player and then adjust you as they see your stats wow. and as they track every single little thing that you do within the game. So what blew my mind is learning, first and foremost, this was not the lowest bracket of skill-based matchmaking, but rather what? this is like the average bracket of skill-based matchmaking where the vast majority of players play. He even linked this chart right here, which shows that the most people that play COD hover around a 0.86 KD. Of course, this is for Warzone, but the same is essentially true of multiplayer as well. The vast majority of the Call of Duty community play around here, and if you you have a 1.5 kd apparently you're in the top 10 percent of the player base a two oh man that's insane say it it ain't so bro holy crap what are we talking about man top 10 percent top 10 percent bro that was pretty normal that was pretty normal back in the days hey eh? <laughs> that was pretty normal back in the days and you're saying 2.0 kd that's top three oh man <laughs> Uh, of course, I don't have the numbers, but if I have to take a guess, that would prob probably be easily top 30% back in the days. The fact that it's only top 3 this time around, that is crazy. And as we, as we get down to the content here, guys, I want to just say, if you are into UFOs, conspiracies, and all that type of content, I have a second channel, though. Yay! Yeah, definitely check it out. Alright, let's uh, get back to the content here, boo-boo. Wait for it. KD is the top 3% of the player base, which is mind-blowing because before skill-based matchmaking and before all this stuff took over, a 2 KD was not that difficult, or at least it wasn't that uncommon. It seems like pretty much yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. on my friends list back in the day had somewhere close to a 2 KD, whereas... I, I didn't, I didn't, but a lot of people did. Now it's like, it's rare, it's rare. And if you have a 2 KD, people are gonna be like, yeah, he cheating, he cheating, right? Or you're reverse boosting to get easier lobbies, or you're VPN lobbying, or you know, all that bull squash that exists in Call of Duty nowadays. 
now, if you're a 2KD player, you're like one of the best people in the world, essentially, which is pretty freaking mind blowing. Well, like I said, over on Reddit, a user by the name of David83 carried out a bunch of these skill based matchmaking tests. Did he? Did he say did he? What? It's on five different accounts. And I just want to go ahead and check out what he posted. So when he joined his account that had a 0.3 to a 0.5 KD, he says, you literally play with bots at beginner level. It is almost impossible to die. I also had serious doubts whether they were real people or bots. Mm. Too easy. They have mm. no idea what they have to do you walk in front of them and can dodge bullets matrix style you're bored in one match i met a streamer who had the twitch tag who cast a nuke definitely reverse boosting so that's what's like at the very bottom of skill based matchmaking based on his testing where he said he played about 20 games on each one of these accounts <sighs> the next account is going to be for a 0.6 to a 0.7 kd saying similar situation to the previous one with the difference that in every lobby there is someone who is starting to be a little more challenging if you're not careful you can die sometimes very oh. easy to dominate the lobby when I got seven or eight consecutive kills, I committed suicide to lower my KD or I remained still wow. without reacting. So anywhere from that 0.6 to 0.7 KD, it still seems like you're in the lower bracket of skill based matchmaking overall. And after tanking my stats on the father of four count during the Black Ops 6 beta, I believe that was essentially where I was. Initially, they may have put me in with like the 0.8 KD players, but after just walking around and shooting and missing and intentionally dying a whole bunch and all that, I think they dropped me back down to that lobby essentially because every lobby was super chill. It was super relaxed and people honestly were having a lot more fun than we do in the higher brackets of skill based matchmaking but let's go back here we yeah like these people in these lobbies they're just exploring the game they're just like swimming in you know they're just swimming 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 they're just trying to find like what this game has to offer these people are relaxed they're loving it they're enjoying it they're like hey man we had a long day at work we had a long day in school let me just chill, you know, let me just recline my chair. Let me just like sit back, have a controller, have like a bagel here, maybe get some snacks there, maybe like eat at the same time, right? And, and people like you and I, right? We're like, bro, <laughs> can a brother get, perhaps get to live here? Can a brother perhaps get to recline my chair a little bit? You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Because the second we hop on in these lobbies, it's just sweat fest. It's like that guy camping right there, you know? That sucker camping over there. That guy using a sniper rifle. I'm getting shot at from this direction, that direction, everywhere. Sucker's using LMG, shotgun. And, uh, you know, you don't even see the enemy. You just die. You die first, and they see you later. Yeah. Bruh. Don't even make sense. Don't even make sense. But that's Call of Duty for you right there, folks. But for these people, man, like, they, they be enjoying the game. They loving it, man. They live in life. So, you know, thank God, okay? God bless if you're in these lobbies, brothers. God bless, man. God bless. We have another account with a 0.75 to 0.8 KD, and they write, the situation becomes more challenging. You no longer have the feeling of playing with bots. You will find easy opponents with some faster movements and more precise aiming. Oh, it wow. seems like the classic casual experience. Not easy, but not stressful either. Yeah, you have yeah, to put yeah, in yeah. the effort without going crazy. And then from there, the 0.85 to 0.95 KD, <laughs> goodbye randomness. Everybody plays to dominate. Everybody is expert and has excellent map awareness. There are no more relaxing matches, but you have to compete at your best i think that's the average experience for most which makes sense yeah. given the chart that jay god linked there that's essentially where the vast majority of the community plays and then on his account which was a 1.05 kd you are literally in hell with the lords of sweat and movement who seem to be playing for their lives it's a crazy moral of the story keep your kd around 0 0.7 lower the better right lower the better one kd thing of a pass guys get with the get with the times man one kitty who cares yo i remember though back in the days sickers would only ask for two things yo what prestige are you and what's your kitty ratio i'm not sure if you guys come from the dinosaurs time like me or not right i'm only 28 but like i should not be saying only 28 man i'm pushing 30 hard bro i'm pushing 30 <laughs> hard man where my homies at man let me know how old are you guys how old are you guys but i'm pushing 30 i'm an old man i'm probably the oldest right probably the oldest guy out there uh, oldest guy alive right now man i'm like super old right now like so yeah dinosaurs time right like i come from a dinosaurs uh, uh, era uh and back in the days yeah like what kd you are oh prestige master yeah cool sweet you know sweet what's your kd ratio uh you know 1.10 1.25 you know uh, that guy would be like that's it i got a three kd i got a four kd i got a five yo, yo to be fair though like there was one guy in my school that became a on that became a friend and he had like somewhere around 4kd and i've even seen him somewhere around 5kd as well oh, shit.
<laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. I'm just trying to recall that from memory. Like he was crazy. He was crazy, uh, and he would always maintain, try to maintain his KD ratio. Yeah, man, like simple times, man, simple times. Of course, he was stressing like crazy to maintain that KD ratio. Nowadays, bro, like if you have one <laughs> above one KD, bro, like it's over, man, it's over. Easy mess and many use tricks. If you're not a high level player, it's better not to get here. You won't have fun anymore. And in conclusion, many of you complain about not having easy lobbies. Often read questions like, where are the casual players? Surely you are an average player from 0.8 KD and up. You will never meet those type of players. They are protected in that KD range, which mm. goes from 0.25 to 0.7. These players definitely don't come to Reddit and write to skill based matchmaking is too aggressive and they don't have fun. The lobbies are very balanced. Mm. I thought this was really interesting. And the big thing, right, when he talked about the KD, once you're over a 1 KD, even slightly over a 1 KD, how you're kind of just in sweat lord hell in the Call of Duty franchise, and the you way he put be. it, if you're not a high level player, it's better not to get here. And that's kind of Facts. my thing. Like, I was playing Facts. Modern Warfare 3, obviously. With the I, 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 I don't know what was my KD ratio on Black Ops 6 beta, but I believe it was definitely lower than 1. Because I had okay lobby. You know what I mean? I had okay lobbies. Maybe it was because like I was not paying attention because I was playing the game while watching a uh, podcast or listening to podcasts in the background. And that's ultimately how I have fun playing Call of Duty. Like, yeah, man, I cannot uh, have headset on and just listen to the gameplay, gameplay and play the game. It's going to get super boring. It's going to get boring just like that. I'm going to fall asleep, okay? Uh, I, I cannot play Call of Duty because it's the same game every year, right? So I need some stimuli, right? Yeah, because I've been playing these games for years, for decades, for, yeah, for a decade plus. So, and, and the games, I, I get it, it's FPS, so it's not going to be any different. So that's how I played it, and I did enjoy my time. I thought it was better than Concord and Dustborn. Come on, guys, it was, it was. It, it was better than Dustborn and Concord. Come on, man, like, you know it was, okay? You know it was, okay? I know the bar was extremely low for Concord, but still, it was better than that. And I had fun. I had fun. I'm going to admit it. I had fun. Um, still not pre-orders thinking about not buying it at least day one because i need to see more about zombies and zombies uh the first map look amazing but the second map they revealed when they revealed the real gameplay that looked trash right so uh gonna wait a little bit and if the zombies turns out to be good then i'm buying it right otherwise i i think i'll wait it i'll wait it till they reveal the next map perhaps as well and if that turns out good i'm gonna buy if not hey no biggie man i'm just gonna watch it on youtube yeah, man, I'm gonna be happy like that, okay? Let, let me know how many of you guys are buying the game or not, but m multiplayer-wise, I think it's decent. It's decent, but skill-based management, and bro, you don't want to be above one KD. The haunting events and everything going on with that, and I was thinking to myself, literally last night, like, after I streamed, after I got my videos up and everything, I was just playing the game, and I was recording, but I was playing the game, you know, and I was thinking to myself, I'm having a hard time in these lobbies. I'm not going negative, but I'm not going super positive either. Every lobby kind of feels the same. Every lobby kind of feels sweaty, and I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I just need to knock off the rust a little bit, you know? I haven't played a lot of Modern Warfare 3 yeah. over the course of the past couple of seasons, but then it dawned on me, with skill-based matchmaking, actively trying to get better at the game is going to punish me and make my lobbies even worse than what they currently are. The better you are at the game, the less fun essentially you're going to have. The people that are actually having fun with COD are the people that aren't really that good at it. People exactly. with like a 0.6 to a 0.7 KD. And yeah, like folks, listen, I, I, I haven't bought the last year game, right? Like uh, that was the first Call of Duty game that I did not buy ever since I found out about Black Ops 1. Ever since that, yeah, Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty game. Uh, Call of Duty game. Ever since I found out about Call of Duty, so last year, first game that I skipped on, uh, and yeah, since Modern Warfare 19, I haven't been playing Call of Duty religiously. Like because back in the days, oh, I would play 24/7, but after Modern Warfare 19, I slowed down playing. So I now I'm more of a casual player. Yeah, I am a casual player right now. You know, I feel like that this is such a good yeah. Like if you really want to enjoy Call of Duty or have fun. Playing it, I do it by putting a podcast or listening to YouTube videos in the background and playing at the same time. I enjoy my time that way, okay? But I became a casual. I, I have the knowledge of a hardcore fan. I'm still a hardcore fan in a way, right? Because I played mostly all the... I, except for the last year game, I played all the Call of Duty games, right? Uh, but I became a casual fan. And if you're a casual player, right? I, I think you're gonna like it. Perhaps, maybe. You're gonna have a better experience... So, in other words, you don't want to push it too hard. Because if you push it too hard, you're going to have a bad experience, essentially. Like, you don't want to be one kitty. 
be around like 0.8 and i'm not sure what's my kd ratio i really don't know what's my kd ratio but if i have to take a guess it gotta be below one right if it's like above one then i would be shocked then i would be shocked because i feel like that i had chill lobbies maybe i'm good maybe i'm good but i don't think i'm good I'm, i don't think i'm that good in call of duty anymore <laughs> those are the people that they can actually chill out and relax as david83 mentioned in his reddit post i'll put a link to the full post down there in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out what was nice about older call of duty games is you weren't so strictly stuck in your one particular bracket you know yeah, yeah, yeah. that bracket where you have people that are kind of walking around like they're bots and they can't hit any of their shots well those players would occasionally be in your average normal lobby sometimes you had like the 2kd sweat lords you had yep, the really exactly. terrible people you had people in the middle and everything in between and that is what made for a fun and interesting interesting experience in the older Call of Duty games where you didn't feel like there was money on the line as you're just running around on the new spooky clown map trying to unlock camos for your STG because you haven't been playing Modern Warfare 3 over the course of the past couple of months therefore your STG was level 1 and you're trying to level it up and get your camos yeah. you know it's one of those things where you want to do good in the game you want to consistently win more of your gunfights than you don't but the thing is I already do that and I'm sure the vast majority of you watching this video <laughs> already do that as well you want to go out there and you want to dominate but doing so just means you're not going to be able to do it in the future they're constantly shifting the goalpost on you with how the matchmaking system works and going to the comments of that reddit thread was really interesting because some people are pointing out their experiences as higher kd players some yeah. of these guys are like 2kd i'm more like a 1.3 1 1.4 right now and i think that's like peasant stats no <laughs> that's like peasant stats and confession right like i feel like that my my gotta be lower my gotta be lower and listen man I, 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 I'm pushing 30, man. I don't care. I don't give a damn about KD ratios no more, bro. I, bro, I'm pushing 30. I just want good games, man. I just want to chill. I just want to play the game. Okay, that's it, man. That's it. Because, like, recently, I haven't been buying any game, man. <laughs> recently, there hasn't been a single good... Nay, there has been some good games. Like, whoa, don't get me wrong. But in comparison, okay? It's all comparatively. It's all, like, relative. Is that the right word? Uh, let, let me just stick with comparison, okay? Because I'm comparing it to the good old days. The good old days for me being like the PlayStation 3 era, the Xbox 360 era, and hell, even the PS4 era was pretty good, right? The Xbox One era was like, in terms of the video games that were coming out, was pretty good. The PS5 and Series X era, where are the games, man? And we already getting PS5 Pro, 700 US dollars, which is gonna be almost uh, 1100 dollars Canadian when you include taxes as well, because yeah, like tough love, man, when you buy the product, it's not gonna be 700 US. First of all, it's gonna be like 960 Canadian, and then you gotta pay the taxes on it. So almost gonna be 1100. And if you wanna buy the vertical stand, guess what, folks? That's also gonna be $100 Canadian and taxes on it. 15%. I'm in Quebec. I'm Montreal, Canada. Ah, ouais, si, je pète tes dents. Ah, ouais, calice, tabernacle. So, yeah, exactly. So that's gonna be 115, 1100, 115. So, doing the calculator thing real quick. Easily, easily 1200. Easily 1200. Do you think? Do you think Sick is gonna buy? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Some Sick is gonna buy it. But imagine, right? Like, man, we ain't even getting no games right now, bro. We ain't even getting. The only game that I'm really looking forward to is GTA 6. And after that, I guess Black Ops 6. Uh, B B Battlefield 6 gameplay was just revealed as well. I uploaded that on the channel. Definitely check it out after this one. But yeah, okay, I'm looking forward to Battlefield 6 as well. But that's about it. That's about it. What other games we're getting now, man? Like, this this is, like, insanely pathetic, man. There aren't even any, like, big games coming out. It's mostly, like, all uh, games that are anime. And no disrespect to my anime weebs out there, to my anime lovers out there. Yeah, we need to get, like, some kids-friendly game as well. Like, some, uh, you know, cartoonish games as well. But when every game is like that, what are we talking about? That's what has been at Summer Game Fest. That's what Summer Game Fest has been all about for years. That's what the reveals, recent reveal events has been for years, right? Can we get, like, good-looking games? Just, like, good games. Simple as that. Like we used to get during the PS3 days. But when you only got Black Ops 6... <laughs> battlefields the gta's and some story games here and there man like you know what i'm saying like bruh because i remember i used to be buying like 10 e 10 games a year easy sometimes even 15 games easy back in the days how many games i haven't even bought a single game this year yeah i don't think i bought a single game uh, so far maybe i'll get black Ops 6 maybe maybe that's a big maybe yeah i haven't even bought a single game this year
think I can do better. I don't think I want to do better, but I think I could do better. Usually my KD is bad in all the recent Call of Duty titles because the only thing that kind of keeps me motivated and playing is going for the mastery camo challenges and doing that a lot of the time results in pretty terrible stats. Like if I'm down to like a 1.1 KD after I get interstellar camo, raising that from one. I think I bought Microsoft Flight Simulator, Bruh. but probably last year. I think I bought it last year. I could be wrong. I don't know when I bought that, but I think, yeah. 1.1 to 1.4, having all those deaths on my record is actually pretty impressive. So when you look at an overall KD of like 1.4, you might be representative of like a 1.8 to a 2 KD over the course of the past couple of months. It just really depends more on your recent performance, I suppose, as compared to what you did, you know, six months ago while you're grinding mm -hmm. out your camos. But regardless, mm -hmm. there are some people in there who have like a 2 KD and they're talking about their experience. Experiences, and they're also talking about the potential for a ringer system within matchmaking. So for those of you in the comments who have pretty good stats and have had them over the course of the past couple of years, have you noticed that consistently you'll be at the top of your team in kills and objective play, but you're still losing all the time because you have two or three people on your team that are doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking you're playing domination or maybe hard points or whatever, and it's a very close, hotly contested match. You've got like 50 kills, all this objective time and everything, and then there's these people on your team with like 14 kills and they've been there for the entire match like why does that happen in a game yeah. where I, I cannot wait for the homie blame trust to make a video on this one man the homie blame trust gonna go crazy man like he's probably gonna lose his mind he's probably gonna increase his blood pressure he's probably gonna lose his hair and then he would probably need this uh, helmet that retweet helmet right the i restore one <laughs> that would go be crazy man but check out this video on the screen we got our very first look at the next battleful game he had just revealed it Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out that video on the left. Let me know your thoughts there, folks, and I'll see you right there.